what's going on guys Nishant here with CG Force and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm here with us another blender tool which kinda helps you to generate instances on vertices and faces of any 3D model. So let's just check out what concept you are going to cover in this tutorial. So the first one is definitely going to be the generating instances with simple and basic demonstration of cube and sphere. Then we will learn how to make instances interactable so that you can select and transform them easily in 3D viewport. Then we will shed some light on the scaling of instances with the help of scaling factor as well as set the scale customly. Then we are gonna talk about rotation of instances on what says with the help of instancing too. And finally at last a brief explanation on instancing tool versus particle system which one to use and when. So all we have these 5 concepts to total share in this tutorial. So let's get started with the first one. To generate instances we require two objects in 3D viewport. One is the instancing object which is sphere in this case and another one is the instancer which is cube. Now we need to parent this sphere with this cube. But before that make sure the sphere is in the center of the cube. So now select the sphere, select the cube, press ctrl P and just parent them. And now only select the cube. Go to object properties, open up instancing panel and there you will find two modules. Select the vertices module to generate instances on vertices. Similarly for faces select the faces one. You can also enable and disable the visibility of your instancer for viewport as well as for rendering in both modules. Other than that vertices has another third feature check mark which can help you to align the instances along the vertices normal. But it is not only up to that, so we're gonna discuss this feature later in this tutorial with another beautiful example. On the other hand, faces has a scaling factor, which simply help us to scale down the instances according to the size of the faces. But I will also show you how to set the scale customly later in this tutorial with another beautiful example. So now we have instances on our cube. If you select the middle instancing object and try to move it around, you can see the instances are still connected with that instancing object. And if you select the instances, the instancer gets selected. And if you go to edit mode, they are still single one object. But that means you cannot interact with instances directly. So here comes our second part. To make instances interactable, select the instances, press ctrl A and select make instances real. There we go. You now you can select the instances, move them around, rotate them or even scale them. But if you go to edit mode, you can see they are still one object because they all belong to one single object data property which you can check from object data properties a sphere is connected to 99 objects in 3d viewport if you don't know what object data properties are i have complete dedicated tutorial on that concept which you can check from the video's link or i'll leave the link in description box now to check this fact hide the cube delete one of the instance and now if you check the instancing number it is down to 98 confirm <laughs> So now let's just talk about scaling of instances with another beautiful example of this style as garden houses. As you can see I have used instancing tool to generate green spherical balls on all of the faces of these meshes. But as you can see the top faces of the mesh are quite smaller as compared to the middle faces or the lower ones. So now let's just take a look how to generate instances by simply using scaling factor. So here we have the simplest version of this stylized house with the instancing object in the center. Now simply select the instancing object, select the mesh, ctrl P and just pin on them. Now select the mesh, go to instancing tool and select faces. Now check mark the scaling factor and bring up the value and you can see the instances are adjusting their scale according to the size of the face. And if you bring up the scale too much, they're still gonna manage to adjust the scale according to the size of the face. But if you still want to set the scale customly, First, make instances real. Then, only select those instances which you want to set the scale customly, which are the middle ones in our case. Now go to pivot point, change it to individual origins. Now bring up the scale to the point you are satisfied. And there you have it. Another version of Stylus Caron House. So now let's talk about rotation of instances on vertices with another beautiful example of this dome structure. These arrowhead connectors are actually holding the integrity of entire dome structure. 
But you can see all these arrowheads are pointing outwards in the direction from their vertices. So let's just take a quick look how to make it happen with instancing 2. So here we have the simplest version of dome structure and arrowhead in the center. Now select the arrowhead, select the dome, press Ctrl P and just pin on them. Now only select the dome structure, open up instancing panel and simply select the vertices. And there we have instances on vertices. And you have guessed it, make instance real. Go to edit mode and try to rotate it around until you find out you are wrong. Before making instances real, make sure you check the third feature check mark of vertices module. First, which can help you to align the instances along the vertices normal. And now, make instances real, select the middle one, go to edit mode and try to rotate it around until you find out the exact position you are looking for. Which is in our case is negative 90 degrees on the x axis. And all arrowheads are now pointing outwards. Perfect. You can also create some sort of small sci-fi space scene by simply scaling the instances out from the center. And there you have it. Now finally, let's talk about instancing tool versus particle system. Instancing tool is a lightweight version of a particle system. All it is dealing with is simple vertices and faces. Max, a scaling factor, but nothing more than that. And if you want to create something which doesn't require any variation or randomness in scale and rotation, then simply proceed to instancing tool, like I have used it to create this beautiful C mine. On the other hand, particle system is quite advanced with its functionality. A lot of randomness and variation in scale and rotation, emitter simulations, force fields, air simulation, it just has a lot to offer as compared to instancing tool. And if you want to create something, which require a lot of randomness in scale, a lot of variation in rotation, then simply proceed to particle system. Like I have used to create this beautiful green grass from my own personal projects. And these are the artworks where I have used the green grass. So now we are done with all our five concepts. Wrapping up this video with two final tips. Tip number one. Before using instancing tool, always be mindful of the position of instancing object as well as the instancer. Otherwise, your instances won't fit on the right position. Before using any object, make sure you apply the transform values and set the region point to the center of the object. And always make sure the instancing object is always in the center of the instancer. And tip number 2. Try not to use instancing tool with heavily danced pack mesh or you will end up crashing your system. And if you're lucky enough, you will be growing a beard until your computer makes a move. If you like the content, please like the video and share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so then you don't miss any upcoming future videos. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Outstation. If you have something to say, feel free to leave in the comment section, I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. So thanks for watching, stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.